Hey guys, Boom Tutorials here, and I'm sorry for not making a video for a while, but I've taken about, I would say, what, the past month to go and just spread my bot across the internet. So, yay, cheers for me. I have, I think, 4,000 people infected now over a month of non-stop spreading, so, my opinion, that's pretty good. So, just to make up for it, I'm bringing you a fairly good uh, tutorial on how to use Dark DDoS version 5.1. Now this is a cracked version, and if you don't know what cracked means, it's pretty much where you do not have to pay one cent to use it. That is what I love, I on this channel at least. I'm only going to bring to you guys free DDoSers and host booters. I will never bring you guys anything that you have to pay for, unless I have made it and I'm actually charging you myself. Alright, plus it'll be cheap, it'll only be like $5 for DDoSer, because I'm not going to be gay like 35 or 20 bucks. Okay, well, what you're going to want to do is download the .rar file. You want to right-click it, wherever the directory of it is, and click Extract here. There's only one file in it, which is the dark uh, DDoS server 5.1 cracked. Since I do already have it, I'm just going to recycle it. <clears throat> Mine's in my taskbar, so once you open it up... I did not crack this, by the way. It'll say who cracked it when it opens up. It's the Old Warrior at topleakers.com, I'm pretty sure, just gotta wait for it, there we go, cracked by the old warrior at topleakers.com, now you're gonna wanna click enter, but before I do, I'm going to pause the video, because it comes with a login screen, and you can enter whatever username and password you want, it doesn't have to be an actual account, you can just make one up, but it does say your IP address below it, so that's why I'm not going to do it, alright, so, I'm gonna pause this quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back, so I just went to login screen, and I made booting tutorials, and I put my own password. Alright, so what you're going to want to do right now is, well, here I'll let you guys take a second to look at all the settings. You could take people's passwords, I'm not too sure how well that works on the cracked version, because I've been having problems, tell me if you guys do, leave a comment below. Alright, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, they got when you go to the builder, this is where you're going to want to put your no IP, and I'll be right back for one second, I just got to go make Alright, I just made one, so copy and paste it right in there, mine's a98.no-ip.info. Alright, now the port, this can be any open port, it doesn't have to be a certain port, it could be port 1, 2, a million, who cares. Alright, now I am going to show you how to port forward really quickly. You want to go to your web browser. Start menu, go to CMD. <clears throat> Type in ipconfig. Alright, now you want to see your default gateway and type that into your web browser. Mine's 192.168.1.1. Give it a couple seconds. My internet does tend to go slow whenever I'm recording anything. I'm not too sure why, because the Camtasia Studio does not even involve the internet when it records. You know what? I'm just going to pause this and I'll be right back once done. Alright, guys, just finished loading. So once it's loaded, well, it'll actually come up with a login screen. It should say username and password. I have a link this, so the default username is blank, though. Default password is admin, but I did already log in. Sorry about that, forgot to unpause it there. But once you have logged in, you want to go to the port forwarding section of your router. And you can forward any port, so I'm just going to make one called test YouTube. It's going to be port 10. Make that port 10 also. Change protocol to both. Now go back into command prompt and take every digit after the last dot in your IPv4 address and you want to type it into this box and then check off enabled if you have that setting and click save setting. Should say settings are saved or some screen like that. Alright, so as you can see, port 10, port 10, 
So you go over here, put whatever port you just forwarded in, in my case, once again, 10. The ID, I'm just going to change this to YouTube test. I spell that, yeah. New text, just scramble it around a bit. This is the connection interval from once they open up the program, how many seconds it'll take for them to connect. I'm just going to put mine to 4. Enable startup. I'm going to disable that right now because I don't need starting up on my computer. Pretty much what this does though is you put in a name that you want it to start up as in task manager. So this will be the value which is the name and the key which will appear over here if I'm not mistaken. Alright. So I'm going to disable that. And persistence is where if I get infected by that and I have my antivirus try to remove it the persistence will make it where it's unable to be removed, where right when it's removed, after a certain amount of time, it'll re-download itself onto their computer. But since I'm only doing this as a test, I'm going to uncheck that, go to next. UPX compression, I think it just makes the fire smaller, you don't need that. And here, if you refresh it, it'll just test your DNS to make sure it's active, but so you guys don't see my IP address, I'm not going to, because it's not needed. Next, and click download, which is pretty much just the build button. If you want, you could save it as a profile over here, but you don't need to if you don't want to. <clears throat> you save mine to my desktop as YouTube test. Alright, you're going to see all the values start going down in a second. Gotta wait, that means that's building. And there you go. It'll have an X here for whatever you disabled. It doesn't mean that it did not properly build. So once you've done that, you're going to have to do this every time. There's no auto listen port, sorry about this guys. But you want to put the port that you forwarded in here, minus 10, and just click add. Then go back to the main, and there you are, you're all done. So yeah, perfect. Alright, so let's just test it. YouTube test.exe. Open it up. Give it a second. It's forwarded, yes it is. Oh, and it actually just connected. Alright, so you can see port 10. This is my IP or actually no. This is my default gateway. If you infect yourself, it'll show you the default gateway. This is what I'm doing as my idol, my operating system, country, version of the bot, or the officer, I'm not too sure. So here you can make them have different attacks. Start, stop, the strength of the attack. You could use uh, all different settings. The update, you could download, execute, make them actually update, select all. Now the downloading and execution of a file does take a while, I have noticed. The logs does work perfectly so uh, yeah I would not really recommend you to download and execute on this program alright YouTube well there you go that's how you use dark DDoS version 5.1 please rate comment subscribe download link will be in the description